Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Crystal Palace. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. Players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. And this confrontation is underway. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Abdoulaye Dukure plays with André Gomes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Can he play it in? Defensive efficiency personified. Wilfried Zaha. Well, the portents look pretty positive for James Rodriguez based on his form in this competition. Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants and he normally finds the best one. And space to cross it. given a corner their referee what about the opportunity from earlier let's have another look now shall we Sigurdsson with a corner great chance with that header but he sent it wide of the post well it's quite easy to head that one over the bar this time he just gets his angles wrong just past the post Andre Gomes. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Joel Ward. Throw ins given. Sigurdsson. Dukure. Still passing it around with authority. Holgate. The ball with James Rodriguez. What can he do from here? And the cross into the middle. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Digne. Tremendously strong in the tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Zaha. And foul it is then. Has he got away with one there? Yellow card only. Was there a case for that to be red? Maybe an orange. Let's give him an orange. <laughs> and fired from the... Fl In position! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely ball into the box. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. The opening goal of the game, then. Lucatinha. Yeri Mina. And Sigurdsson with it. Keane. Holgate. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Unable to keep the ball. As you can see, Palace haven't seen the ball too much, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Sigurdsson. 
Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Played in there. And that's an important intervention. Calvert Lewin. On to Sigurdsson. Will he finish? And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, we'll see it again here. If your ball wants a game to one two, this is what happens. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. Jairo Riedewald. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Benteke. Well, he likes to run at them. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. The first half here comes to an end. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Luka Milivojevic. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Yeri Mina. Here is Andre Gomes. Wilfried Zaha. Space on the flank. That's how to rob them of possession. Look at Dinia. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? Well, the counter chance looks very real. Zaha. It has to be. And the keeper had to react in an instant. Oh, and does he? Wow, does he react? What a save that is. Substitution for Everton coming off the pitch. Number 21, Andreas Gomez. To be replaced by. And over six. comes the corner. Oh. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Another cul de sac in terms of the attack. Number 20, Crystal Benteke. Coming onto the pitch. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Michi Batshin. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Are well, they going to forge ahead? You've got to say it was a wonderful break, but shame about the wild attempt. Yeah, who knows? Needs a midfield when you can break like that. Superb pace. Disappointing finish, though. Well, Derek, you can sense the frustration growing from the fans. That leads on to the players being frustrated, too. You can sense it. Can they get the goal? Sigurdsson. What can they do from here? Sigurdsson. Dinier. Just couldn't get it through. Batshuayi. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, he's given it away. Sigurdsson. It's with Alan. 
Ronaldinho. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Joel Ward. Ward. Luka Milivojevic. And take it away. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? And take it away. Just ten minutes to go. Excellent ball over the top. A fine block. James Rodriguez. And space here on the flank. Joel Ward. Great pressure to win the ball back. And teammates to play it to. Well, nothing productive, really. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Sigurdsson! An example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. Substitution for Crystal Palace. So making the substitution now. Coming onto the pitch. Number nine. The corner from Gilfi Sigurdsson. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.